And this one is a competitive tile placement game. And the way that this game works is that each player is always going to have four tiles in their hand. And each of these tiles will have one side with an animal and one side with a number of acorns. The side with the animal also does have a number on it indicating how many acorns that animal wants. And players are going to be gaining victory points by fulfilling that requirement, gaining a victory point for each animal that they are able to fulfill. The way that all of this works is that the game's going to be starting with a single tile out on the table, and then players are going to be taking turns choosing a tile from their hand and then putting it into play following the placement rules. And those rules are pretty simple here. All you have to do is place it adjacent to an existing tile, and also you can never have an animal side by side with an animal or an acorn side by side with an acorn, which means that each of the images on each side of the tile do have to be alternating, like you can see in this example of of the game here. But like I said, each of the animals will be associated with a particular number, and that's the number of acorns you need to get around them in order to fulfill their requirement. If you're able to do that, you get to put your token on that animal, indicating that you have earned that victory point. But this is easier said than done, because in order to actually fulfill that requirement, you have to get the exact amount of acorns around that animal. If you get more or less, then nobody is gaining those victory points. And also, you can only only ever claim it when all four sides adjacent to that animal have been filled, which means that even if they have the appropriate amount of acorns around them, but not all sides of the tile have been filled in, then nobody can claim that victory point yet, because there are also tiles with no acorns on them that you can use in that scenario. That's pretty much all you need to know to play this game, except for there is also this magical acorn icon here, which is always whatever amount you want it to be at any point in the game for any animal. So this can change values depending on who's using it and at which time in the game, but it gives you a lot of flexibility anytime that you're trying to claim an animal adjacent to that tile. And also the entire grid can only ever be an eight by eight grid. So the game ends once no more tiles can be placed and then the player with the most victory points at that time wins the game. And if you want to check this one out, I will have it linked down below.